shouted is a verb and loudly is a adverb. The chart was torn in half. Torn is a verb and in half is a adverb. Raymond is studying poetry. Studying is a verb. Poetry is how describes how he was studying. Patrick and Bob are laughing loudly. Laughing is a verb and loudly describes. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. For example, Samira looks beautiful. Here, Samira is a noun, looks is the verb, and beautiful is the adjective. So, uh, adjective is used to compare people or things. So, we have conducted a game here. So, in this game, uh, there are tumbled up words, so you have to search those words. So, and frame their sentence. So, this is a chart. This is a chart to frame the sentence. I put all the words, all the adjective words in this sentence. Determiner introduce a uh, uh, a noun and modifies it by telling us something important about it. The minus come here before the noun that is Hello. So I tell you. In. There are many the questions, articles, numbers, words, files, and conversations. Then the dog. So this is preposition. So uh, uh, first I'll tell you what is a preposition. Preposition tells you about the relationship between nouns and pronouns. You want to explain me this? Okay. Preposition of time. Preposition of time indicates the particular action takes place. Then preposition of place. Preposition of place tells you that someone or something where it is located. Then preposition of direction. We say right, left. Where is the direction you come from? Then. Now, you should choose one your card. Choose one of the cards. Only one. Oh, sorry. Where is the preposition in this sentence? Do you the left, right, below, and that is the eye? So I the Most 
common nouns and a few abstract nouns are countable. Uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns make name things that cannot be counted. Most abstract nouns are uncountable. Uncountable nouns also have physical, physical, physical objects that are either too small or too indefinite in their quantity to be counted. These are some examples of countable and uncountable. Also, it can be counted in gram and kilogram. Nouns that name a person, place, animal, or thing are which can be counted as for countable nouns. Nouns make of the largest Common nouns and a few abstract nouns are countable. Uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns name things that cannot be counted. Most abstract nouns are uncountable. Uncountable nouns also name physical objects that are either too small or too in or too indefinite in their quantity to be counted. These are the examples of countable nouns. Now I can answer. Please give me your phone number. Name five. One is sugar. Two is water. Three is water. Four is water. Five is water. Five is water. Four is water. Five 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 is water. A sentence makes a complete sense or contains a verb. I will explain two sentences. Two sentences. A sentence is a group of words that contains an idea, fact, or opinion. A statement always ends with a full stop at the end. Now I will talk about. This game X to mix. X to mix have to make the plural form. X, for an example, girls, girls, sandwich, sandwiches. And when you get an exclamatory, you should make a sentence with the word. Like for a cat. The cat is on the bed. When you get when then you should make a sentence with that word together. Like the cat and the bus. The cat is on the bus. And if you got the bus is on the leaf. The leaf is on the bus at the top. Then if you get a woman of a potato, then the woman is eating a potato. But you don't have to say the potato. It's the plural form potato, potatoes. And then we'll be able to finish the game.
In some sentences, the verb also has an object and a subject. A subject is the person who is doing, being, or having. The object is the person or thing which is directly affected by the verb.
A gender is used to tell whether a noun is male or female. There are four types of genders into which nouns are classified as follows: masculine, feminine, common, and neuter. What is masculine? Masculine gender is used to tell a noun. Now, all pronouns referred as classified as male. What is a feminine gender? A feminine gender is used to refer a noun or pronoun and pronoun. That refers um, that classifies a male, female. What is a neuter gender? A neuter gender noun is a noun that denotes a lifeless thing, a thing that is neither male nor male nor female. What is a common gender? A common gender, a common gender is either male or female. It is which is commonly used for both masculine and feminine. is called common gender example parents grandparents students etc okay thank you games ah okay guys which number you get you have to answer with the and or the talk about what you usually do uh um animal you can see at a oh, a oh. huh? i have been to uh i to a for i have been i have been to the the I never listen to uh, the. I have an older brother sister. I eat junk food more than twice a week. The most expensive thing you have ever brought. Yeah, I won. What is pain? You want to remove the video? Three, three. I am an odd number. Take away a letter of it, and I become even. What number am I? Eleven. Try. You give me a clue.
good one. I am Miranda and Egan Miranda and this is a model of a study room based on nouns. Nouns are naming words used to describe person, place, animal or thing. We have four types of nouns. Proper noun, common noun, abstract noun and collective noun.
this one. Yes, skin. What is the answer? Demonstrative adjectives are used to express or identify the 